Hello and thank you for coming to check out this video. This video pertains to another field notice, this one being released March 13th, 2020. It pertains to an issue where a, a, a node, a server, may reboot for any given reason, even util system restart command, but the node doesn't come back online. So we'll talk a little bit more about how this occurs and which products are affected. Starting with which products are affected because it's really easy to see right over here. This document applies to these products. And it has various versions of emergency responder. The paging server is also affected. This paging server is also known as Informacast, but it's branded as Cisco paging server. We also have CUCM. We have Unity Connection, I am in presence. So there's a, a number of different types of products that are affected and a number of different versions for each product. This table here actually outlines the different products and their affected release. Then there's also some comments around that. Scrolling down a little bit, we can see some of the different defects that are associated and we get a problem description here. The problem description lets us know that whenever a server is rebooted for any given reason, it will not boot the operating system back up. So a reboot or power cycle of the node will not boot the server back up and it also will not restore its services. They let us know that the node will remain offline and application services will not be reinitialized. So the background here is that after a successful VMware tools upgrade, this file is corrupted and it can be corrupted in varying degrees. The corruption then does not lead to a VMware tools upgrade failure. The application will actually come back online when that corruption occurs. No issues are exhibited. And this is the kicker. The next time the server is rebooted for any reason, the Linux bootloader fails to load that image, which prevents the OS from booting back up. Then we scroll down a little bit further and we see the problem symptoms. When you go to the virtual machines console, it's going to be either stuck at a blank screen or it's going to display one or both of the errors listed here. Now they have a workaround that can be applied to CUCM. It can be applied to Unity Connection as well. It can also be applied to IAM in Presence, and it can also be applied to SME, SME, Session Management Edition, whatever you want to call it. Along with this documentation is also a workaround for Cisco Emergency Responder. Further down in the document, they give us the solution, which they have a cop file here that will assist customers who are not able to perform an upgrade right away. And then later on, they let us know that if you require any further assistance, or if you have any other questions pertaining to this field notice, that you can go ahead and um, engage Cisco TAC by any one of the methods down here. And I assume that most people that are watching this video probably have engaged TAC in the past, so they know their means of doing it. But if not, you can go ahead and reference this section of the document. With that said, I'll go ahead and put the link in the description of this video, and I hope that this was of value to you. I'll see you in the next one.